As integrated circuit technology develops, there are increasing demands on devices, including high performance, low power consumption, and high reliability. These parameters are interlinked, and changing one will usually change the others. For example, if you increase performance, you also consume more power. And if you go to extreme high performance or extreme low power, you may encounter unreliability. In the Prime project, one of our goals is to explore these trade-offs and help system designers to make better systems. Let's study the dependencies between the performance and the supply voltage in a single CPU core. First of all, for any semiconductor technology, there are minimum and maximum boundaries for the supply voltage. If you exceed the upper boundary, your system will overheat and get damaged. If you undersupply the voltage, the system will not be able to tell between digital 0 and 1. Additionally, you may also have a minimum throughput requirement. For example, a video application must meet a certain frame rate. This line is the so-called power normalized performance, which shows the, what throughput you can get from the same amount of power. There is a hardware limit on peak power, beyond which the system will get damaged. However, you usually want to put an even lower power restriction to reduce energy consumption and the temperature of the device. And finally, there is technology-specific timing reliability limit, which defines the top speed of the device at a specific voltage. The higher the voltage, the faster a device can work. All these boundaries define a region of reliable operation. This point is of the most interest, as it gives the highest performance within the specified constraints. The number of processing cores in a single device is constantly growing. The introduction of multi-core systems opens up a new dimension in this trade-off. As we know, for a single core device, reducing power by a factor of 4 reduces the performance. However, this also means that now we can run 4 cores at the same time and remain under the original power limit. As you can see, the combined throughput of all 4 cores is above the original throughput. You can repeat the step again to scale to 16 cores and gain even higher throughput without changing your power budget, and so on. However, in real life, this approach has two problems. The first problem appears when the voltage is too low, and a larger portion of power is wasted without contributing to performance. This power is called leakage power. It causes the power normalized performance line to bend down, and the scaling in that region becomes inefficient. The second problem is that the throughputs of individual cores do not simply add up. The performance scaling varies between applications and depends on the software's ability to work efficiently in multiple threads. This effect is described by Amdahl's law. Our team in Newcastle have developed a tool for exploring performance, energy, and reliability trade-offs with regard to all these effects. The tool includes a variety of experimentally collected power and performance data from devices like ARM and Intel processors, as well as Xilinx FPGA. It is also possible to upload your own data in CSV format. Once you have selected the platform, you can specify your maximum power constraint, for which the tool will calculate the best operating point that would give the maximum performance. Alternatively, you can specify a minimum throughput constraint, and the tool will give you the minimum required power. You can tweak various parameters, for example, Amdahl's scaling factor. The tool is designed to be useful for both research and educational purposes and is available from the Prime website.